Hey everyone, welcome back to Nat and Essie. Today we are making crafts all dedicated to our emotion joy. And the first craft we're going to try is bead art. Let's try and replicate our friend Joy made out of beads. First, let's take a peek at Joy. She's got blues, red, a light lime green. Her skin is the color yellow and her feet are the color yellow. Let's see if we can make her cool colors into some beaded art. For that, let's open up our bead container carefully. Whoa, I think this blue is perfect for her hair and this yellow is perfect for her skin. We've also got a green color over here. This will be perfect for her dress. Lastly, we're going to need some molds so that we can place the beads on top of each other to make joy. I'm going to start with her hair and work my way down. Whoa, project number one in our joy theme is complete. Look at all of these beads. I wonder how many there are. But wait, there's one last step. We have to iron it. Amazing. This is bead art. You make your character or your design and then on the other side, you melt it with your parents' help and then you can make your own characters. In this instance, I made Joy. And she's so tall, she stands as tall as anxiety. Isn't it really cool? Let's make some more art with the theme of Joy. This was just our first project. And if you enjoyed it, remember to leave a thumbs up because on Nat and Essie, we have so many fun projects. The next thing we're making for Joy is called black light art. We have an image of Joy and we have all of our colors. Hmm, let's see, the black light colors are these ones right here, the neons. But we're going to need a white to make the base. We also need a black color and then for Joy um, to make her black light colors, we're going to use this neon right here. And hmm, should we go with the classic blue or should we pick a different color? I really don't know. I think I wanna pick this blue. Step number one is to draw a straight black line down the middle of our page to do the offset of our neon and regular. What do you guys think? It's joy, x-ray mode and normal. I love it. There's so many fun ways you can draw characters. We've got the normal joy and x-ray version. This is so cool. Project number two complete. Let's see what we have so far. We've got our drawing and the bead art. And of course, we've got joy herself. What else can we make in theme of joy? Hmm, I have one more good idea what we can make for joy. Let's create a squishy and collect all of our ingredients in here. I have this big giant tub of ingredients. Lots of glitter and different colors. Joy is light blue, so we can use these sequences and she's also yellow. 
Ugh. What do you think of this one? These two colors. I happen to have two pre-made squishies in the color of joy. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can add our fun colors to these squishies. So the first thing I'm going to do is carefully open my yellow pack and place it off to the side here while I carefully open up this squishy. This might be the worst idea I've ever had or the best idea. I'm recycling old squishies and making them, whoa, oh no, oh no, I need my squishy maker. This is super old sticky slime and I need to put it on the squishy maker. So to make my giant joy squishy, I'm taking a new balloon and we're going to pump it up, carefully holding our old one. Pump it up and get it really big because we're going to put all this old goo inside ooh, and make the giantest, most biggest squishy I've ever made. Here we go. Squish it in. Oh, did you see that come out? The yellow goo. Okay, that's our yellow color. Yucko! And now to recycle my old blue color. Oh wait, first let's add something new. Some yellow sparkles. Is there anything else? How about some big yellow flakes? We have to work fast here before this thing goes crazy. And maybe some green to replicate her dress. Okay, so green and yellow. Now let's carefully open our old blue balloon. Yucko! These are super sticky when they get old. You have to be so careful. And get ready and squish the old, ew, blue content into our new ginormous, bubbliest squishy I have ever made. Gross! Now to add some blue flakes. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so big. To make it less sticky, I'm going to add some blue clay. And then we're going to close it up. There we go. Everything's inside. Oh, I've got more glitter. This is going to be the biggest squishy ever. What I'm going to try and do is, oh, this is going to be scary. It's so full of yuckies. Here it is. Perfect. I found my stopper. I'm going to unplug it and push it off the squishy maker and twist. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It won't even come out. Come out! Okay, here we go. So we've gotten this far and now we have to find a way to seal this up. So what I have to do is I have to stretch it and squeeze, oh no, all the slime to the bottom. Ew, it's getting everywhere. Quick, spin it real fast and put our clamp on it. Oh, so gross, old slime. But whoa, it is the funnest feeling squishy I have ever made. And it looks just like joy. Blue, yellow, oh my goodness. Check out this fun joy squishy. Ew! look at all those colors. And then the yellow in the middle. And it's turning, of course, a little bit into green. Looks like a world, actually. Can we stretch it carefully? Oh, I don't want it to pop on me, but it is such a big squishy. Wow, so we made a squishy, we made some bead art, and we did a drawing. What do you guys think? You think Joy will like it? Think of some other projects we can do, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.